This is a reminder that on Saturday, November 19th, Let's Play at Novora Autism will be hosting an Extra Life charity webcast to help raise funds to benefit the McMaster Children's Hospital and the Children's Miracle Network. Look forward to seeing you then as we support this wonderful cause. When you think to yourself, I was right all along, but I was wrong in how about to go deal with something, this is definitely one of those instances, and so, yeah, it turns out I have to come back here in order to advance further. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here in Overall Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Secret of Mana. So last time, we arrived here at the what is the Tree Palace, however, the Emperor beat us to it. And unfortunately, we had to deal with him and his up cronies as they destroyed all the seals on the Mana Seeds. And once they did that, they raised up the land where the Tree Palace is located. We did get our 8th and final elemental though in Dryad, but now, we have to stop the Emperor from not only um, doing this, raising this land where the Tree Palace is, but we also have to stop him from reviving the Mana Fortress, and so we're gonna try and do that. Now, last time, I was trying to figure out how to get past this waterfall because of the use of water physics in this place. And as it turns out, um, it wasn't quite how I thought it was going to be. What I need to do is run over here, and as I'm falling, hit that. Yeah, I hit a trick switch. Yeah, I thought that was just a... something else entirely, but it wasn't. And thankfully you do not fall down if you go off the edge. Th thankfully if you're right near the edge, you do not fall down. Yeah, we're just hitting the Basilisk like he's nothing. Because he really isn't. He really hasn't done anything worthy of note as of yet. Okay, then we have to stand on this side. Because, yeah, there's no switch over there, but there's one over here. And then that leads us back down there. Okay. So now that we've dealt with all that crap, let's keep on going. Yeah. Trick switches again forced me into a video review. Like, that's nuts. Oh, boss duel. Okay. We're fighting a boss, what are you weak to? Let's pull out Sylphid, and let's get some information on the Hydra. What am I dealing with? Fierce Salamando, okay. Thankfully for me, it seems like Salamando is my strongest um, magic. Don't know why, but it just seems that way. Hey Hydra, take this. Okay, you do poison, but you also suffer 466 of damage when I cast that on you. <laughs> that is good stuff. Yeah, thankfully we're not attacking his head, but it could grow back. <laughs> yeah, just damaging him, I guess, also constitutes as um, chopping off a head, but of course, we have to burn the head where we have to burn the star where the head was, so it doesn't respawn. Because yeah, there it is. Yeah, if you're familiar with um, Hercules' stories, you'll be familiar with the fact that um, he had to fight a Hydra. But he discovered that every time he cut off a head, that the head just grew back. So he had to, actually had to use fire to prevent the head from re returning. But yeah, we're just casting fireballs like nobody's business on the Hydra. And yeah. His heads may be spawning back in this fight, but really, he has not done much to us to be concerned. Oh, yeah, I guess we won't get another cast off. We won the fight. Yay, yeah, us. Alright, that takes care of him. So, yeah, the first boss of what will likely be many in this place. I didn't mention in the previous episode that these last three dungeons are really long. 
All right, moving on. Yeah, we found you again. And your Fana. Look who's here. Prepare to. Enough Fana. We've got. We've no time for these children. Think what the Madam Fortress will do to them. Let's go. Oh, we're not even gonna bother stopping them. Wow. Wow. And then you light bomb us to escape. Yeah. Neither can I. And thus, the pursuit resumes. Oh, we gotta deal with you guys again. Which means we actually have to deal with you there, Kimono Bird. And you cast Silence. Not that I'm all that worried. Except if I get confused by it. If I get confused by it, then I do have reason to worry. I do have the option to leave this if I want to. But yeah, I want to get rid of the spawner. Because, yeah, you do spawn stuff. How come I... Okay, that was weird. How come my foes were not going all the way to the opponent? Okay, is there something you're weak to? Because, yeah, I'm getting sick of this. Because, yeah, you're clearly impervious. Stuff. Da, 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 da. You fear gnome, okay. You fear gnome. Then let's send some gnome your direction. Because, yeah, I've had enough of this. 300 points for the kill! Nice. Now that is a crit hit. But I'm knowing me, I'm still gonna likely need to use this. Anyway, what the? I was like, why did I just freeze there? That was, that was really weird. Speaking of really weird, still having issues with hitbox detection. Even when I'm directly above them or directly beside them, the hitbox detection is still terrible in this game. Like, I, I, to be honest, I don't know how I've made it this far with such poor hitbox detection. Like, it, it blows my mind. Okay, come on there, die you. Alright, one at the top died with a critical hit. Alright, there we go. See, why can't I do this all the time? Why can't I, when I'm right next to an enemy and I hit him, do this all the time? Ooh, critical hits are kill him. Nice. I like that. So yeah, we now gotta pick your poison situation. Can we go down the middle? Oh yeah, we have to go down the middle. Oh, you guys are everywhere now. Uh, take this. Take this and that and a few other things, too. Yeah, thankfully, there's where hitbox detection finally works for me. And you cast magic on me. Well, it may damage me somewhat, but it's not devastating. Yeah, I don't fear elemental weaknesses. Which is bad for you. Yeah, just hold it right there, and we'll put you two out of your commission soon enough. Yeah, you're on a commission from the Empire, but we're about to decommission you. Alright, you're dead. But uh, yeah, other than casting that one magic, you really have not done anything, and you're dead. That takes care of you. Oh yeah, now we got some... The future now! Yeah, I, I remember this from watching those videos. You have the futuristic, um, um, airport, um, you know those airport conveyor belts that you walk on? Oh, uh, there's like a switch somewhere that we gotta deal with? Yeah, there's probably some sort of switch somewhere. And where would that be? Maybe over around somewhere else? Yeah, I can always go to a video review if I need it. Hopefully, I will be able to minimize the use of video views. 
as I make my way through here. Oh, what's in here? Wait a minute, this, this is where I came from. Yeah, that's where I came from. Well, if nothing else, the game does a really good job of trolling me into thinking like, Oh, you need to go this way. Yeah, I mean, I could just keep fighting these guys, but I need to find out where this switch is. Or whatever it is that I need to use in order to advance further. Yeah, over here, guys. Yeah, from behind. And still can't score. Yeah, look, it looks like um, the other two are stuck behind the wall. Which is why this is happening. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Thankfully, the duck's dead. Yeah, screw you, Donald. Screw you and all your crap. Yeah, I wish I knew how to deal with that, um, barrier. Like, maybe there is a way and I just don't know it. Um, we won't bother with you. Let's go back down here. And I guess we'll have to fight you guys again, since we did leave the room. Thankfully, you guys are easy to kill. Thankfully, you guys are easy to kill, even if you do spawn stuff. But yeah, I guess a video review is required to get past this barrier. Since I don't know how to deal with it. Like, well, before we do, um, let's have Sasha eliminate... Oh, you can't eliminate him from this perspective. Okay, so... I guess he has to be in visual view in for order, order for us to fight this guy. But yeah, I mean, he's right there. I mean, why, why, why won't he allow us to hit him through a wall? Well, we'll take the video review and see how to break this barrier down, because it looks like video reviews will be happening frequently here. So, back in a moment. Okay, so following the video review, it turns out that the solution is a lot closer than I thought it was. It's hidden over here. And apparently I can walk down the opposite direction on the conveyor belts. I didn't think that I could because, yeah, my mind immediately thought water physics were treated the same way. But yeah, you can run down the opposite side. Ugh, game. Yeah, th this game is um, definitely going to troll me quite a few times. So yeah, it looks like... Um, secrets will abound in this place. Get a full heal from Cure Water before we continue on. And go. Yeah, let's d deal with Birdie again. But I need everyone over here in order to properly hit the thing. Because, yeah, Soren can't hit him even though he's positioned against the wall. Yeah, even when he's cornered, I still can't hit him with the happy hitbox detection. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Well, we cut off the thing he spawned. Sadly, we can't score him on him myself. Alright, thanks, guys. Yeah, I just don't understand hitbox detection in this game. Like, when you're right on top of something and it says, No, you didn't hit me. Was there anything of, of significance to the right? Yeah, there is. But for all I know, I could be going actually further on in the dungeon. I can always come back if I have to. Oh, Watts is here! Oh, awesome! How did you find your way in here? Well, let's see what we can improve. We can improve our spear. Yeah, now it's getting big now. We can improve our boomerang. And make it give it and give it a funny name. Um, oh, I can also improve the whip. There we go. But yeah, that is a funny name right there. And is there anything else in here of interest that I should be looking out for? Oh, Chrissy is here. Yeah, thanks. Oh, and you give and you get a heal from her. They're in a secret code from an enemy. It's red, blue, yellow, green. What is it? 
It's the keys that you use when playing Guitar Hero. <laughs> but yeah, did that Im Im restore our MP2? It did not restore our MP, so Chrissy just gives us a physical heal. Which is unfortunate, it would've been nice if she gave me an MP heal too. But we'll just have to make do without it, I guess. Okay, moving on. Yeah, at least I can hit you with this. And watch as my friends do absolutely nothing. Alright, there we go. Moving on. Yeah, it's a shame that wasn't a hit or a save point too. Could have used such a thing. Yeah, as you can see, I'm throwing over his head now. Like, the game really expects you to be, like, absolutely precise with the hitbox detection. Which is why I can't score when throwing a distance from Sasha. Or with Sarah. Anything over here? Yeah, it could be. Oh, more elevator. But do I want to go that way, though? Because, yeah, it looks like I do still have options. Yeah, this, this I guess, is where the maze aspect of the, this place now comes into effect. Yeah, the Basilisk just stands there like his dopey little self and doesn't do anything. Oh, you ca Okay, so you have to... Okay, got it. So you have no choice but to go this way. Very well. Now, what little sorts of secrets or tricks are you gonna throw at me this time? I'll have to make sure to check both sides of the conveyor box to find out. And uh, Sasha's just standing there with his do dopey look on his face, holding the bow. Yeah, tell me there's some sort of secret. Tell me there's a secret somewhere. And there is none. Okay. Yeah, the only secret is that you have to take the long way around. You have to detour a bit. Whoa! You shot a laser at me! You shot a laser out of your mouth at me! Scary. Which isn't surprising since Halloween is in a week from now. But yeah, we're just having fun with the duck. <laughs> yeah, he's not much of a captain if he can't even be bothered to attack me. All right, you're out. Okay, can't go left, but I will need to at some point, so I'll have to come around. All right, drop down here, and then we have to deal with another force field. Gotta deal with another stupid force field, and we gotta deal with another stupid you too. Oh, it didn't hit that. Oh, it didn't deactivate that force field. Okay, getting fancy, huh? Speaking of getting fancy, um, before I do anything else, I want to use Luna to just absorb magic off the kimono wizard. Yeah, twenty-five points. And then let's use the magic I just got. Oh, back. What do you have with Dryad? You have Sleep Flower, and you have Burst. Oh, that looks cool. Well, we're gonna pass, actually, because I'm gonna use Gnome to deal with this Kimono Wizard! Boulder on your head for 800 points. Boulder on your head for 800 points! Oh, you wanna go again? You wanna go again? Then we'll go again! Drop it on your head! Pow! Drop it on your head, drop it on your head, and uh, more of you. Thankfully, the Dark Knight's gonna cast this on himself. Which means you're out of commission, and we're picking up experience levels. So, Soren and, Sa Soren and Sasha are at 51, before too long, Cyril will also reach that number. Bullseye, we got it. Oh, more of you guys. Yeah, now the question becomes how do we deactivate that force field? 
Might as well go, go back to soaring. Oh, never mind. Never mind, because we got more gnome to cast. And at least they're giving me a golden opportunity to make use of it. And I will not argue. Ever. At all. Oh, wait a minute. Red, blue, green, yellow. Yeah, th this is, um... Okay, I guess I got it right, and not even knowing it. Yeah, I guess I kind of fluked into that one, because, um, when playing the Super Nintendo, um, of course, if you lived in North America, um, you had just purple and gray buttons to press. Um, for the Famicom version, you had actual colored buttons that we would see for the Xbox and its subsequent consoles. But yeah, I guess I kind of got lucky there. Because I could have just wandered around because I wouldn't have known the sequence of buttons to press. Okay, now what's up here? More of you guys. That's what's up here. Are they weak to anything? Let's, um... Run over to Silphid and find out. Um... Oh yeah, there's Silphid. What are you weak to? Dot dot dot. Shift shifter gets whacked. 1500 GP total has no weakness. Okay. So yeah, we just fight you straight up. And it was a good idea. Oh, Sasha and Sarah both improved on their weapons. Yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going and how good or bad will it be? Oh, there we go, we scored. Yeah, we're, ju we're just throwing stuff like crazy here. And we got the duck completely subdued, as usual. Okay, keep going. Whoa, you're new. You're new and you're a lot more agile than the dark ninjas we've seen previously. Well, at least whenever I can score against you, you take good damage. I just slipped out of reach. Oh, that's a dark stalker, okay. Alright. Red, blue, green, yellow. Blue. Green. What? Red. Blue. Was it yellow, green? Okay. Yeah, I got the sequence mixed up. And we're free to go. Which I'm guessing is right down the middle. Actually, hold on. Let's see if it is right down the middle. But before we do that, more gnome! Take this! Crash! Bang! Boom! We win. Anything further down here of interest? Yeah, it seems like there's so much stuff to find. Okay, so that's where we... So that's where I could have had the option. Okay, so we're fine then. We don't have to worry about that. Well, you returned. You returned on a vengeance mission. Yeah, this ain't no mission from Gad. This is a vengeance mission. And we got you subdued, you're out. Alright, let's go. Oh, look who it is. And not only that, there's two of you. Well then... Oh, I guess we're gonna have to split the difference because one did spawn in time. Triple threat. And then do the same thing. And take this. And kapow! Now, while I have your attention there, Crawler, let's go ahead and use Luna and get some IMP back, if you have any magic at all. Like, you only... you didn't have that much anyway. Okay, so I think I was supposed to step on that and then double back? Not quite sure. 
But let's go ahead and Luna again on the Kimono Wizard. So yeah, suck some off you. 25 points. 25 points. Yeah, I'll never have to worry about running out of magic with um, Sasha again. And off screen, he dies. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna call the episode here for no other reason than the fact that... Um... Well, maybe they thought that some um, hole now has the opening to it. I want to check to make sure. Okay, so yeah, we don't know how to get in there yet. We do not quite know how to be able to get into that. Oh, crap. How did you set me on fire? How did you set me on fire? Well, why don't we just use um, Undyne for a moment? Heal the party. But yeah, when did that become a thing you could do? Alright, we can't go any further. Okay, so obviously we have to keep going the way we were. So since we're gonna have to deal with that... Oh, now there's two of you? What? Yeah, we'll just move on here. And we'll go ahead and proceed to close the episode because, yeah, I think we're now getting along better following the video review. But I imagine we'll need to take another one as we continue on in this place. So, next time we will continue in our relentless pursuit of the Emperor. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this blind let's play of Secret of Mana. And when I join you again, we will continue on here through this tree palace and see if we can find the Emperor and his minions and stop them from their doing their evil deeds. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew Nobora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.